Hey everybody, welcome back to Rocky TV. Today I am doing a documentary about hot dog people. Now, these are very rare creatures that shouldn't be creatures, but somehow they are. And uh, rumors have spread that there is a hot dog person somewhere in around these parts. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, but hold on, you hear that? What is that over there? It's behind that tree. Oh, I see, I hear it. Do you hear it? What is that? What the fuck is that? Is that a hot dog person? I, th I think that's it. Oh fuck, there it goes. Oh fuck, come on. There he goes. Oh, look at that majestic creature. Oh. Oh fuck. He's in his defensive position. Oh man, look at that beautiful creature. If you didn't know, hot dog people have thumbs just like regular people. And so they can pick up things just like us and they can throw things. Although they're not too good at English. I want to see if I can get closer to this hot dog person. This might be the only one that we see for a while, guys. So excuse me if, if I keep going down. Okay, there he goes, there he goes. He's behind the tree still. I don't, know if, I don't know if you guys can see him. Just step over this tree branch. There he is. Look at that beautiful creature. Look at that. Now, I gotta be careful about not getting too close. Because these creatures will attack you. And if they are horny, they will try to fuck you. And right now, he's getting too close right now, so I should probably back up. I'm not trying to get my booty raped by a hot dog person. He is in his... Oh, he's horny. He is a horny hot dog person. He is a definitely horny hot dog person right there. He's doing his uh, sex dance. Now, if he does his sex, his sex, uh, his sex noise, that's when we get, that's when we gotta get the fuck up out of here. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Here he comes. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. There he, oh, shit, there he is. Oh, fuck. He's a horny bastard. He is a horny bastard. Probably hasn't seen a male in so many years. Maybe we can try to distract him with a noise. Hot dog people are very distracted by noise. They're not really smart animals. Here, let me see if I can throw this rock and distract him with it. Oh, I think it worked. He's backing away. Now, if you see the, the rainbow tail behind the hot dog costume, that means he's a male, and he's not too sure about his sexuality. So it could either mean he's straight, or gay, or bi. He's probably bi. See how I told you hot dog people were very stupid. Oh, his attention is now back to us. It's going on all fours. Now see, hot dog people can't run very fast, because, well, they're not supposed to be creatures, and they haven't really... <laughs> he just fell. <laughs> Hot dog people fall all the time. And it's sad. He's got a stick now. Now, with sticks, they get confused. They think that they are dildos. And so they try to fuck other hot dog people with them. But see, it doesn't work. Getting a little closer now. Now, hot dog people like to build shelters for temper for temporary um, uses because they don't stay in one place at all. They're constantly travel, but at nighttime, that's when they gotta uh, stay here because they're very vulnerable. They don't have real no protection like other animals do, um, and they can't fight other big animals because they're very weak. 
and they're not very strong. So hot dog people tend to travel during the daytime, around four or five in the afternoon. That's when they're most active, from what a survey says. And see, they always try to make fire, but they're not really good at that either. They're not really good at anything. Hog dog people are, are a strange animal that do very strange things. Hot dog people are sometimes nice and sometimes very mean. As you see, he's right there looking at me. Now, if you notice the hair coming out of the hot dog, that means he's a male as well. So if you don't see the tail, and you see the hair that on top of his head or coming out of the hot dog, that means he's a male. Now he's very afraid, he doesn't know what I'm doing here, and he's never seen someone like me either. Now he's throwing things. He's very afraid. Very, very afraid of anything. Anything that moves, he gets very startled. Very, very startled when he starts to run off. And there he goes. Right back where he he belongs. In the hide in, in, in hiding. Under that rock that he went under, that's his home. See, the reason why we don't travel to other states to do documentaries about other hot dog people is because there's different mini species. And right now, San Antonio has one of the most rare species. Um, that hot dog person right now, that, hot, that uh, species of the hot dog person is an Oscar Mayer. Now, Oscar Mayer hot dogs are very, very rare to find. And if you kill them, they're very juicy to eat. Their meat is tender, and it's really good. Oh, watch out. Now, it, now if you combine an Oscar Mayer with an uh, off-brand hot dog species that recently was found a couple years ago, their kid will come out deformed. Now, this hot dog species right here, Oscar Mayer, he is one of those. He is one of the most smartest hot dog, uh, hot dog species out there, and it's crazy, because we sit, we're right now standing here watching him. With this everyday life, this is what hot dog people do, in their everyday life. They don't really have no purpose here, and it's weird. We don't know what, why they were put here on Earth. And I can really never give you an answer why they were put here. Legend has it that they have no blood and no bones and that they're just really flexible and they can fit anywhere. But we don't know that for sure. We've never got caught a hot dog person at all or run tests on them. We don't know how flexible they are and we don't know if they have bones. It's crazy. It's best to leave this hot dog person alone. He's not very smart, but it's nice to know that hot dog people live here and that we're not alone in this world. At all. Now, I'm gonna get a little closer for the final look of the hot dog person. As you see, he is very hungry and he's looking for something to eat. As you watch him in his everyday habit of where his nest is at, this is his nest. Now, it doesn't look like much of a nest, but it's a nest. Usually hot dog people would find other hot dog people, kill them, and make their nest with them, with their dead bodies. But see, we don't have any other hot dog people. So as we end this documentary, this, this strange documentary about a strange species that no one really ever knows or knew about, besides me and a few other hundred people, I want you guys to know that there are hot dog people where you live at, and there's many different species. Now, 
the hot dogs that you see in store, those were once former hot dog people. We need to stop murdering hot dog people because they are a very, very, very rare species and they were put on here for some reason. So please, if you see hot dogs at your local at your local store, please grab them all and just throw them away. Don't eat them. Don't take them home. They're dead already. Please, have a boycott against these stores, these big, big name brand stores. Help get rid of, of, help get rid of, <laughs> sorry, help get rid of these big companies killing hot dog people for their meat. This dance is this hibernation dance. He will be going into hibernation soon. So that's why he must find a place to stay. Hot dog people don't like the hot. But anyways, as we end this documentary, help, help hot dog people out and do not murder them. Thank you. And in, and in a few months, we'll come back, we'll come back and check up on this little person to see if he has found a mate or has a kid. Thank you and goodbye.